that uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi laid the foundation stone for three semicon facilities worth 1.25 lakh crore rupees today. The event took place in Dholera, Gujarat, where the Prime Minister joined virtually. The biggest among the approved facilities is the 91,000 crore rupee fabrication plant, which will be built by the Tatas in Dholera. This will be India's first commercial semiconductor of fabrication facility. The Tatas will also build a semiconductor assembly and test facility in Assam. Apart from the Tatas, CG Power will build an assembly and test facility in Gujarat. Ashmit Kumar reports from Dholera where the groundbreaking ceremony took place. Well, we're coming to you from the industrial hub of Dholera. It's about 150-odd kilometers outside of Ahmedabad, Gujarat. Uh, this was the very location where the Prime Minister, flanked by Ashwini Vaishnav, uh, by Gujarat CM, as well as by uh, N. Chandra Sekharan, the Tata Sun's chairman, laid the foundation for three semiconductor units in India. This in Dholera is the site for the largest of them. Uh, this will be India's very first fabrication facility, semiconductor fabrication facility. It will invite an investment of about 91,000 crores, will generate about uh, 55,000 direct and indirect jobs. Uh, this, of course, uh, is the first. The second, of course, is the TSAT, that, again, another Tata facility in Assam. This is a packaging unit. We'll see investment of about 27,000 crore rupees. The third is CG Power headed unit, which is in Sanand. Again, in Gujarat, we'll see uh, investments of about 7,600 crore rupees. Uh, this will be an OSAT facility. Uh, a couple of aspects to bear in mind. What are the takeaways? Accelerated timelines. The Micron facility was, the foundation was laid in 100 days of approval. Here, the cabinet had granted approval on 29th and 15 days later, approval uh, foundation has been laid today, so accelerated timelines. Also, we spoke to N. Chandra Sekran. He said that in terms of accelerated timelines, uh, normally for a fabrication facility to come, on, come online takes about three to four years. They're working with a timeline of 18 to 20 months, looking to commission the first chip out of this facility by December of 2026. Another key aspect is that uh, the chips made in India will be exported as well and also for domestic consumption. And finally, the government, of course, is hoping hoping that this translates into greater interest by uh, bellwethers of the industry, of the semiconductor industry, for investing in here in semiconductor units in India. In the coming time, we will connect the semiconductor sector with the products of commercial production. That is not the day when we will be able to come to this day. A global power banega. At least we are looking at 50,000 jobs here and um, at least 20 to 25,000 jobs in Assam. We are also trying to see how we can use AI so that it becomes a very, very advanced fab here and also the uh, assembly unit in Assam. Now, JG Chemical 